I had a request for a really good song um, from B. The request is from Be Behind Trees, and the song was Gold Dust by Duster. I think I came across this song a while ago and I thought it was cool, and thanks for requesting it because it's a really good song. I already added it to my favorites. And even though the song's only two minutes, it's kind of cool and just keep on repeat and listen to for like an hour. Uh, it's just an ambient song, it has no lyrics. It's in, it's tuned down to E flat, so it's standard tuning, but everything needs to go down a half step. Top string needs to be E flat. The next string needs to be B flat. The next one is G flat or F sharp, it's the same thing. The next one needs to be D flat or C sharp. And then a flat and E flat. Alright, so I queued the song up, so hopefully I can play along and then explain what I'm doing. There's only two real things to do for the song. The tricky part, which is why I'm assuming you want to put in a request to be behind trees, is because it's like multiple parts and trying to figure out how to play them all at once is sort of tricky. So, alright, here we go. That's the first part. So I'm actually going to pause it real quick before we get to the next part. Messed up a few times there. This song would be easier to do on electric guitar. Um, if you put some reverb, it would sound better. Unfortunately, this is the only guitar I have right now. Um, because then you could really just focus on single picking and it would sound fuller. But um, it's also kind of cool what I was doing, and I'll explain how I was doing it. So, Pinky. The, well, first the chords are E, so E major, and then it's like C sharp minor. So yeah, let me explain the chords first, because that's the first thing I was doing when I was trying to figure this out, was what are the chords, and then I was using my ear to figure out like what are the notes, so everything's tuned down a half step, so this really is not E major chord, but I'm still imagining it is, even though... I know in the back of my head it's E flat because I'm tuned down. But this is a 7th fret, which is usually E. So the chords are like this. It's like... And the next chord is C sharp minor. And then it slides down to A major. So really, like, you could play it down here, like E major, C sharp minor. Slides to B major. Um, so with that said, you're only picking little pieces of it. So I put my pinky here on nine, and then my first finger on seven. So this note up here is the major third of E. This is G sharp, and this note is E. This is the root note, and this is the root note also. And then you're just gonna go like. It's like down, down, then up pick, and then back down to here. Then you can hit either of these two notes. I think it actually sounds better to hit this one, but I don't really worry about it. So. Or you can kind of strum it, because right now I'm muting everything except those three notes. So you can go. better for acoustic. Like I said, if you put some reverb on, on electric and you went, it sound a lot fuller and you could have some echo and stuff. Then from there, the next chord is C sharp. Instead of going all the way down to this clunky bar chord, what you can do is just put your ring finger right here. 
In the ninth fret, this is the root note of that C sharp chord, and then this is the fifth of C sharp, G sharp, so it's just gonna stay here. And then with my this finger, I'm gonna go over to here. And this note is um, actually just the same as G sharp. That's an octave shape. So then it's going to be like the same strum pattern, like down, but here you have to skip. So this is, tab would be, this is nine, six, nine, so I'm going nine, skipping a string to six on the D, and up pick on nine on the B string, and then I do it again, and then I just go to here. You can strum that also, which is kind of cool because I'm muting everything except those three strings. So, so far it's like. Or you can actually strum it. Sounds better though if you just pick it. The next part, there's two chords, one guy's going So one guy's strumming like power chords it sounds like in the background and then the other person's still going I'm not sure if it's a single note or if maybe they are doing like a little in the back it's kind of hard to tell um, but to combine it into two parts what I what I do is I do a power chord from here, this is 9, 11, and I slide like down to there. So this is a C sharp power chord or C sharp 5, and I slide to an A5. And the reason why I'm playing it weird like this is so I can use my pinky on G sharp. And this is really like the best way I found to do it to get the sound of the two parts playing together. So. I slide to B5 right here. So this is. This one I don't really worry about. So the whole thing is like. I do more strum the last ones because I want it to sound like those power chords. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, let me play it really slow one more time. I guess I, actually I'll just play along with it and you can see it again. So I'm not going to jump in immediately, but. Sometimes is I'll I sometimes he goes so you can do actually is you can bar these two notes and notice I do strum more on this so the first part because it sounds like distinctive picking like but in the background you hear like. I try to imitate that by strumming more so I go. And I actually try to hit this note like on the beat by strumming it and then sometimes I'll pick and then and one tricky thing you can do is you can actually slide from here while keeping this pinky down you can go like into this regular B5 chord and I'm keeping your pinky here like that and the next part I feel like I play the next part a lot of different ways but 
I don't really settle on one exact way, but I'll show you kind of the thing. Okay. Okay. Here's the next part. So I'm put my middle finger here on E on the seventh fret, so it's like. settled on. Um, well, there's a tab for it, they say you go on here. I don't know exactly what they're doing, but this sounded better to me. So what I do is make a little E major shape right here. This is E, so this when you strum this, this is E major. So this is 7, 6, and I'm going, and then I'm doing this common pattern where you do a sus4 into a major. So I'm like, I'm actually not doing a pull off. Gonna... So that's the first part. This is. Uh, it's like. I don't think I do a pull off when I actually play. Maybe I do sometimes. If you can hum it to yourself, like. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. And if you listen to it, kind of hum it, it'll help you to get it. After that, I keep my middle finger here, so I, I go to this note. And you can hit this a little time if you want, or just sometimes. Sorry, so it's. After that, the da 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 ba 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 the E strum, and then seven, and then here after that you go. This is seven, nine nine five, and then right away you do like this bluesy thing, and at the end you hear this note, and it sounds good just to go. harder than I thought when I was doing it, so. Oops. So, right now I'm thinking too hard and I'm hitting this note. The first time you want to hit this, then at the end you go up to this. So uh, if that's really confusing, maybe I can put a little tab in the description. This is the kind of thing that tab is helpful for. Um, and then at the very end of the song, so then he just loops back through. There's a little bit that goes. And then he just stops on B, and then he goes. So it's kind of like the outro is really, really simple. Um, so like he's down here. And then he just like stays here. And I think it sounds like they're going. It sounds like two note little chords. So that's nine, nine, six, seven, four, five. Um, so hopefully that's helpful. The song is just like simple, but depending on what level you're at, it can be pretty hard. So if you need more help on any of it, let me know. All right, bye.